totally Tuesday. We are here for our Oracle Manifestation reading for the week using the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins by Doreen Virtue. I'm going to make it quick because it's really Monday night. And tomorrow on Tuesday is July 4th. And when you're watching this, I will be partying all day on the lake. So I am going to do this ahead of time and I will be posting it in the morning as I'm getting ready to leave. All right, so we're gonna make it brief because I know that we'll, we will all have partying to do tomorrow and we need to get to it. But we need to know what's gonna help us shake things out the hardest, if you know what I'm saying. All right, you guys, what do we need to know this week for the sake of our manifestations and our unfoldment of potential? Oh my goodness, everything has flipped over all in one swoop, all, one fell swoop. We're, we're just gonna take all these cards. There's a lot. So protection, um, this card looks like Mila Jovovich to me from uh, Blue Lagoon 2, which is interesting because tomorrow um, will be very much <laughs> the sort of like the um, setting of Blue Lagoon 2. You and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Which is great to know because if you are going out and partying tomorrow, you need to be safe. You need to be careful. Um, you need to make plans to get around and to travel and to you know make sure that you're doing that safely. Um, you don't want to get into any um, accidents, but also um, put anybody else in danger. So just you know pace yourself through the day and through your activities and play it safe because you don't want to get arrested either. That sucks. Um, I have been on the other side of bars in an unfortunate event, um, as it, it wasn't really, um, so much substance related. I had a, uh, a migraine that was really bad. It was so bad that it got me, um, pulled over by the police and I had to go spend a few hours in jail. Um, I also had some, um, 420 friendly things in the car, which didn't help much. So yeah, that was unpleasant. You don't want to sit there having to cherish a, a styrofoam cup for eight or more hours. <laughs> If no, what if no one answers the phone? So play it safe. Also just feel like all is protected, um, especially if there's any other concerns this week, if you have any greater concerns than just like general partying and stuff tomorrow, which we all do. Um, you know, big changes are happening. And particularly with that Capricorn new moon, or sorry, the Capricorn full moon. So if you have felt, you know, that kind of rattle you a little bit, it's okay. Like things are protected. Things are divinely ordered and guided. And so just feel at ease that everything is okay. And the more that you feel at ease, the more like the, the creator can flow through the situation. We have contemplation time. Um, spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. So yeah, you know, part of our anchor message for the week was all about getting into that deliberate co-creator state with divine. And part of it is just getting that passion stoked in your heart for whatever it is that you want to do for that vision, that goal or what have you. But the more that you get that feeling of passion, of desire in your heart stoked, the more magnetic you are for heaven's help to come assist you, for resources, for that, you know, for, for, to, for you to fall into alignment with that cosmic flow that just creates ease and abundance. So yeah, get in touch with what you desire, um, get in a feeling state about appreciation for it. And, um, yeah, I mean, in the Kabbalah, you know, teaches us about the creation phases one through four and without desire, the creation process is never initiated. So you have to have desire in your heart to even initiate anything at all, except heaven's help. You've prayed for help. So get out of the way and let heaven help you. Um, yeah, love this. It's like, once we ask for that help, then let go and trust and be willing to let the universe give you a little detour. You know, if the plan starts to shift and change, 
don't fight teeth and nail to keep the plan together. You know, give up that control, surrender to the flow, that cosmic flow. Because it's so many times where, you know, when we get off that beaten path is where the real gold lies, right? The real, the real adventure starts. So don't be so controlling um, or think you know so much about the situation that you get in the way when heaven is trying to help you out a little bit. So pray, use your verbal prayers out loud. You know, we've talked about how much more powerful prayer is when you use the power of your mouth. Um, the human beings are what is called the, as the speaking kingdom in Kabbalah. It's the highest kingdom. And so, yeah, we are, we have affinity with the light. Um, little feather there, little white feather, little angel feather. Um, we have affinity with the light, um, in you know more ways than one but one of the most powerful one of the initial powers of creation is the power of speech it's the verbal power of our mouth so speak your prayers and your requests to heaven to help you because we all also have free will and so heaven won't intervene unless we ask it to okay what else we got set your sights higher increase your standards and expect more for yourself don't settle so yeah, whatever it is, even if it's, you know, settling for, you know, your own lackadaisical habits or whatever, set that standard for yourself and hold it. You know, the universe is very responsive to, you know, when we set a boundary, when we set a standard, it steps up and it, and it stands up straight and it's like, okay, cool. Like, great. It demonstrates self-worth and confidence. So set your sights high. Don't sell yourself short. Like your dreams like are doable. Um, you, what you expect of yourself is doable. You know, maybe you don't think that you have quite enough time or enough energy for something. And maybe you actually do. Maybe you have no idea uh, what you're really capable of. And you just haven't really stretched yourself um, to try to push through this next level of comfort zone. So yeah, don't sell yourself short, set your sights high and increase your standards of what you expect for yourself and don't settle and then break free. Uh, try different ventures and experiences as a way to learn and grow. So yeah, let go, be free, um, you know, Go um, try different, you know, um, methods, right? Um, you know, whether it be for, you know, say you, you have like a, a health goal or a medical goal, there could be different ways to the same um, destination. And so it may be a little bit different for you than it is for someone else. So you may have to just give yourself the freedom to try things and experiment with things. Um, I know sometimes, you know, when we're working on a business or a side hustle or something, it can be hard to pivot uh, when we've been trying at something and to, you know, we're, it's like, we don't know quite how, like when to time when we've, we've tried a method for a certain amount of time to see if it's going to yield results. Like when do you decide, okay, let's keep pushing through or when is it time to pivot? So yeah, just allow yourself the freedom to, um, to try different methods and different strategies and see what works the best for you. Um, that's probably something that's just coming up anyway in general because of that Capricorn new moon or full moon. It's just getting you really um, keyed in on really good strategy and practical grounded plans and execution um, and just feeling um, yeah, I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling like we're getting um, we're getting turned on with our ideas and just with our energy and with I don't know a new enthusiasm. I just feel like we were there was such like a deluge, you know, over the first months of this year. There was so much heavy emotional work being done, and so now I feel like it's finally like the heat is starting to dry all that emotion off, and you know now it's like ah. Oh, all systems go like we're ready to get out there again and you know be active and do things and create things and get excited and envision so yeah get out there do do it do it y'all i'm tired i'm hungry
I'm gonna get off here, but I hope you guys have a fun 4th of July or a great rest of whenever you're seeing this. And I will see y'all soon for the next one. We'll be meeting back on Wednesday night for our, um, for our alchemy um, reading for the week where we go in deeper to the process of the anchor message and the lessons. Hey, bye, ciao.